guys, Dr. Updown here. We're at the range on this fine late January day. It's supposed to be uh, 70 degrees and it's supposed to be 20 tomorrow, so taking advantage of the weather while we can. Be shooting the uh, DPMS in uh, 223. Got uh, 40 rounds of uh, the Federal American Eagle that we're going to shoot out of this and uh, see how we're doing. Let's make uh, about. 100 rounds I believe that we've put through this so far so like I said I'm going to take advantage of the good day and the good weather we'll see how she does All right, well, we're looking pretty good right on target. Uh, we'll just uh, shoot some more rounds and uh, blow the cobs out of it. Alright guys, that's the DPMS and uh, 223. I uh, hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.
Okay, everybody, gonna do a little uh, range follow-up on the uh, DPMS. What uh, what we did was we went out and shot uh, another 40 rounds, and that put us up to uh, 150 rounds through it. Uh, we did have uh, one jam, basically. It wasn't the rifle's fault. If you noticed, I was using a uh, Caldwell brass catcher on the... Uh, on the uh, ejection port side. Uh, I had read about problems with them in the past and effectively that's basically what happened to me was uh, it just caused one of the shells to not eject clear of the ejection port and caused a uh, misfire. Basically on an empty ejection port was the reason. Uh, beyond that, uh, no problems at all with it. Uh, the thing is shooting a pretty tight group. Do probably need to put a little bit of elevation on my uh, red dot, but uh, beyond that, uh, it's shooting perfectly fine. So, like I say, 150 rounds through it thus far with no problems and no cleaning up to this point either. So we'll continue to take it out to the range, put some ammunition through it, and uh, see how it does. But uh, like I say, so far uh, has been impeccable. Have had no problems at all and uh, maintaining a zero on the red dot just fine even though it's a cheapy one. Getting used to shooting through the red dot is uh, is getting a little easier now. I had never shot with one before so uh, to me it's a little bit unnerving to just put the red dot on something and pull the trigger and uh, have it hit where it's supposed to. But uh, we'll keep working on that and see if I can get over that little uh, problem of my own. Anyway, hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.